13th of December, happy day 13 of Vlogmas. We are now over halfway through, it's crazy. How are we all today? I hope that you're all doing well. My little throaty thing is moving. We are no longer in my chest, which is fantastic. We are in my throat. So um, yeah, things are moving through my system, which is great. Um, also a quick disclaimer, I know nobody's mentioned anything in the comments, so thank you for, you know, that. <laughs> but just a small disclaimer, I have been testing for the dreaded and I am negative every time I test. Um, I will be testing again this morning just to make sure that everything is still negative um, because obviously I see my parents today and um, anytime I go anywhere and I feel like this, I test just to be sure that everything's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see my family today. Um, it's been a month actually, a month till I, since I last saw them and they're coming here and we are going to just enjoy the day together. I do have some therapy uh, booked this morning, so I'll do my therapy first. I do have some homework to do for her, so I need to do that first. Then I need to do some work. Then I've got my therapy session and then I see my parents and then we're going to a local national trust place. Um, so it's a beautiful, building from oh I can't remember what year what year it's from but it's beautiful anyway and it has a little bit of a grounds and then across the road it has a beautiful church I drive through the village um every day on my every every day I go to work every day I go into the office I drive through the village and I always see this building and this church and it's just lovely it's really nice so yeah we went there last year and we went to see the Christmas decorations, which was wonderful. And my parents are coming again and we're doing it again. So I think it's becoming a thing while, while we live here. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get stuck in because I do have a bit, a bit, to, do to, bit to do this morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and apparently I need to wake up as well. Um, but yes, I, I'm in my lovely festive jumper. I love this jumper. It's a nightmare before Christmas. We've got Jack and Sally on the front and Oogie Boogie and lock shock and barrel are on the back. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's really warm because it's double thickness as well. Maybe a little bit too warm, but I think I can get away with this at Halloween and Christmas. So I can just start wearing it from October onwards, basically. Am I not all year round, right? <laughs> Anywho, on to the first advent, which is the, oh, the wonderful Siobhan's Crafts. And day 13, isn't it? Day 13, where are we? Day 13, here it is. Uh, oh, we might be all right, let's shimmy it that way. Again, let's get it going, because they're so stiff. Or maybe I'm just ridiculously weak. I need to do some weights. <laughs> my legs are good, my arms are not. Right, okay, are we ready? Oh yeah, that, that's, that's day 11 there, poking out. Right, day 13, are we ready? <coughs> Oh yes, there's a lot more yellow in this one. Oh, and we have a gift. Oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. Right, I'll show you the gift in a moment. But first, oh, that's blowing out, isn't it? Hang on. Let me try and turn the light down a little bit. Is that better? Not really. Down a bit more. <laughs> um not massively this yellow is quite this is a yellow <clears throat> it is a pastel yellow i suppose that's probably a better i just don't think we'll be able to get the full effect of this beauty but um there we go it just it's a lovely color anyway just you'll just have to trust me on this one it's a pale yellow it is a pale yellow but it is a little bit brighter than it's coming off on the camera but there we go Siobhan's, beautiful. We do have a little gift in here. <clears throat> Let me take it out. I'm just storing all the little gifts in the bag that we got on day one, for now, anyway. Right, and, oh, that's so cute. Okey dokey. And it's a lovely little rainbow key ring, keychain type thing. That's adorable, that. I mean, that would be great. Um, I think I've got a uh, I don't know if the clasp is too big, but I was just saying, just thinking, oh, it's one of these clasps, so you push it in. There you go. Um, I was just thinking I could put it on a zipper or something, but I think that this 
little clasp is a little too thick to be on a zipper I'll figure something out not to worry I'll find somewhere lovely perhaps right on to the next advent it's becoming a bit of a dumping ground around here <laughs> whoops right the next advent is the wonderful woolly mama advent absolutely love this box every time every time I love this box Right, okay, let's have a look. What day are we on? Day 13. It's a mess in the box as well, because I've just thrown everything else back in there. Not the best plan, but here we are. This is day 13. And here we go. What colour do you think it's going to be? I'm going with purple today. I'm going with purple. Because um, we had pink yesterday. And it seems to be purple, pinks and blues. Right, are we ready? Purple. Oh no, it's pink. Oh, it's got a bit of purple in. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's lovely, that, isn't it? Gosh, I love how some of them are quite subtle and some have absolutely beautiful speckles in. And like this one, yeah, it's quite a subtle one, this one, but the tonals going throughout is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Do you know? I really want to cast this on because it's just gorgeous but I need to wait now until the whole thing's open and then I can maybe try and start arranging things. Um, why have I put that back in? Makes no sense. Oh again, Siobhan and some woolly mamas. Beautiful. Right, the top boxes are getting a bit out of hand. We're on to the next calendar, which is the Zakami Yarn Advent Calendar. I dream of a journey. I never know if I get that in frame every time I hold it up, so I hope I do. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh, let me check. Let me check where we are. <clears throat> we are in a new place. We are in a new place. So we are no longer in New Zealand. Also, I did look this bird up, the Tui. I did look it up. And um, it has a fair amount of brown on it, on like on its back and kind of here as well. I don't know if you can just see that, like the kind of the rusty colours that we've been having. So I think they are also reminiscent of the bird itself as well. So, yes, that's why we've been getting a lot of them. Right, where are we? <clears throat> I need to first find, I, I still haven't done it. I've still got loads of noodles and they do go everywhere every time I run it right calf the fun I think right I've got day 13 but before we do that we have a new place I mean oh, I've just seen the next one oh I'm getting proper sidetracked here that is not what not what I see here. right okay um so the next place that we are in I mean I'm just looking at the the remaining places that we are going to and to be honest I would quite like to go to all of them um, I've not been to these last ones so there's three more places to go um, and I've not been to, uh, to any of them um, but I would quite like to go to be honest I quite like seeing new places new cultures um, and yeah there's just the world's amazing isn't it anywho the next place that we are in today, so day 13, we are in Jordan. And here is the beautiful inspiration. How lovely is that? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let me read it out to you. <clears throat> to my dear crafty friend, Jordan's colours have cast a spell on my soul. The fiery desert sands paint the landscape in endless shades of orange and gold while the ancient city of Petra, hewn from rose red rock, is a breathtaking masterpiece. And there it is. So that's the postcard. That's where we will be for the next four days. And again, I love the little, um, little stamps in the corner. They're lovely. So that is where we will be for the next four days. And once more, the absolutely breathtaking um, inspiration photo. So, shall we <clears throat> get stuck in? Day 13. Here we are. This, this jumper is so warm. Sorry, I've got another sticker on it. 
<sighs> right, okay, there we go. Now, are we ready for day 13? Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, that is, that is subtle. Look at that. There is a very slight pinkish hue to the skein. It is very, very subtle. And then it's got these absolutely beautiful, very, very subtle speckles. It's really hard to explain. It's not as, I've got the other one. I've got, um, so can you see, there's a slight um, pinkish undertone to this. Very, very subtle. That's lovely. It's all right. That was um, day. I don't even know what day it was. What day was it? Day 11, is this? I think this is day 11 uh, from New Zealand. So this is just very subtle, very, very beautiful. What? Oh, let's burn my head. Oh, yeah, that's going to be really, really nice. That's going to go so nice. Not what I was expecting at all. I thought we were going to go a bit more in the um, the gold and the rusty kind of hues that we've been having i thought that would be a great segue into this which it kind of is they're all sort of blending into each other if you will um but that oh god that's gorgeous i do quite like the subtle ones i'm i'm a bit odd i think i like everything to be honest but there we go right let's um put that away right we're on to toft and don't worry um when I am done with opening, I will show you progress on Advents. So, to the Toft Advent for today. Um, I keep having moments where my brain's like, um, what are we doing? <laughs> day 13. Oh, day 13. It's day 18. Oh, it's all the things again. Day 13, I've got it. It's a little one. It's, um, Put that back here. I feel very in slow motion today. Um, I hope you don't mind. Oh, we have a jangly. It doesn't sound like a centralizer. I could be wrong, but here we are. It is day 13, isn't it? Day 13. I'm covering my face. All right, are we ready? Oh no, we've got a label. Ooh. Oh, it might be a centralizer actually. I think we've got another centralizer we have. So who have we got today? Oh, he is lovely. Okay, um, bringing it in. Look at him. Oh, that's great. That hat is very similar to a hat that we have made. So all the colors on these outfits that these little centralizers are wearing are very in keeping with the um with the advent that's beautiful that um so i'm gonna pop that over there where is my centralizer keeper which box did i put it in uh, oh, oh it's this one nope this one i think it is yes this is it okay so i can show you how to show you what um I've been doing so yesterday's one with this lovely person here um i've actually attached to the centralizer keeper oh that would help if i actually held it the right way around i've actually attached it to the centralizer keeper to one of these rings so i'm going to do that with this one um that's just that is assuming that um, <laughs> we don't need it today there's every possibility we will need it today. But that's what I'm going to do with that. Pop that back in the box. Right. Now, let's show you all of them together before I actually dive into my progress. Fair warning, there's not a lot of progress, but um, there we go. Right. Which way do you want to be? You want to be that way. Okay. I think you want to be that way. Okay. So here they all are today. There's another lovely centralizer from Toff and the beautiful colours for today. So, really pleased. We are, oh, we're getting there, as I said, over halfway. That's, um, that's crazy. Right, okay, let's 
let's just chuck those over there. We're going to show progress now. Let me just have a quick cup of tea. Mm. Just lovely. Right, we're going to start with the trifle wrap because that's usually what we start with. <clears throat> Made a right mess of myself. Right. Fair warning, I have not done a lot on this wrap. Um, I, the intention was there yesterday, but it didn't happen. Um, I, my body was just like, mm, we're done. Mm, no, can't do this. Do you ever have that sometimes when you just cannot, I mean, knitting and crochet to me is kind of relaxing and I don't necessarily need to engage my brain, especially with the trifle wrap. It's quite intuitive and I can, not mindlessly do it but I don't necessarily need to focus as much as I do on other things on, 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 other, on other projects crochet I have to focus on but this wrap it's kind of like my comfort knitting so my nose has decided to start dribbling um but yeah yesterday I just didn't have that capacity to even do that I just wanted to sit down and, and watch I caught caught up with my football game because uh, my football game is on Monday night football um, so I watched that and I just couldn't really focus on anything else, which was really weird. Um, but anywho, let's get on with the wrap, shall we? Ah, so here it is. Doesn't look much different, as you can see. Um, if I show you this, that is the new colour. So that is the Day 11's colour from New Zealand. I love this colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I had hoped to get more of this colour done so you can actually see it knit up a bit better but at least you can see it a little bit more and I think it does look really lovely. It is such a lovely colour. So get a bit more of the speckles. I'm also a very loose knitter, just, just you know, FYI. <laughs> very loose knitter so yeah, the, you can probably see the background through it. Yes, you can. <laughs> but... That's kind of what I wanted with this. I want it to be floaty. I want it to be drapey, which it is. And that's perfectly fine with it. So yeah, that's that's unfortunately where I am. I am hoping to do some more work on it today. Obviously, as I said, my parents are coming, but we do tend to have a bit of time in the afternoon where we'll just sit, we'll put on a movie and me and my mum will knit together, which is really, really nice. I really like that. So and I'm trying to think what she's working on now. I've, I can't remember what she's working on. I know she's been doing a lot of baby clothes for the hospitals um, for premature babies. Um, so she's been doing a lot of hats and a lot of little booties. They're so cute. So, so small. Uh, little jackets, little blankets and everything like that. And she donates them to the hospital. So really lovely. Um, right, okay. We are on to, what's going on here? Oh, those are beads. We're onto the Toft Progress. So obviously I haven't done today's clue because I've only just opened it. I've no idea what we're doing today, um, but what time is it? Ah, yes, I will be able to have a look at the clue shortly. Um, but I can show you yesterday's clue. So let me remember what we actually did yesterday. Um, I think it was in this box, I'm sure it was. Ah, yes, so the first one was crocheting together these little legs, which was so much fun. Um, the only thing I would say is I am now, I never used to be, but I am a loose crocheter now. Um, and I uh, ran out of the violet, basically. But I ran out on the last row, I ran out here, and I just needed to go round to there. So fortunately I did have some more violet left, but as I say, yeah, I am slightly loose. Plus, um, I was leaving long ends. So do I have one to show you? Yes, yeah, so I've been leaving long ends because I thought we were going to be sewing the arms and legs onto the body. There's, there's yarn everywhere. I thought we'd be sewing the arms and the legs onto the body as they were. So I left a long end so that I could do that. So I, would, I didn't need too many ends. Um, that's what I've been doing with the birds, but I know the birds. I know what end, where it's going to end and um, to where to leave a long length of yarn so that I can sew it to the body using the end. Um, and I think that might have been a mistake <laughs> because, as I say, I ran out of the violet. 
Um, but that's fine. Oh, I don't know which box it came from. <clears throat> I think it's this box. Okay. Um, we're looking at box five, aren't we, at the minute? Yes, we are. So, yeah, that's why I ran out of violet. Um, but as I say, it was only right at the end. I think you could see the join. And, uh, yeah, you can just about see the join there. But yeah, anywho, I ran out of violet, only just. So I'm a bit nervous about running out of the plum because obviously the plum isn't a colour that they stock at the minute. And um, yeah, if I run out of the plum, I can't exactly uh, grab some more because I don't have any, it doesn't exist. So wish me luck. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed it'll be fine. Uh, anywho, the second piece that we worked on was crocheting together the little paw legs. So there's my little paws. It'd be better if I don't put my hand there actually. Little paw legs and we crocheted them together as well. Um, and then we also did uh, this little piece. So this piece looks suspiciously to me like a mouse head. And it goes in the box with all the paws and what I think are the ears. What do we think? Mouse? Ooh, mouse? I think we're heading mouse. Plus, ah, the other thing with these little little trousers is we have been instructed to leave, excuse me, we have been instructed to leave a little hole in the trousers at the back. What do we think? Do we think a tail's going through there? I think it might be. So exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm still very confused though because it goes with the violet body. Um, but um, yes. Oh, well that would be fine because then the violet arms, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. But we're slowly getting there. Pieces are looking like we'll be able to put things together. The, what I think is suspiciously the sugar plum fairy, we haven't sewn her, we haven't crocheted her legs together yet. Um, and I feel like she needs something a bit more glamorous happening. Um, I'd like to do some wings, to be honest, for her. But yeah, these two are looking pretty good. The little almost soldier-esque person with the hat. It's very exciting. Anywho, I am going to be checking my clue very shortly. What time are we at? That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to be checking my clue for today. I'm going to tidy up my little mess. I'm going to tidy up a little bit more. I've got to eat breakfast because I haven't actually eaten breakfast yet. Um, and then, uh, what else have I got to do? I've got to work. I've got to do a few hours of work. I've got to do my therapy, as I said. Um, I do need to do that homework before my therapy session, though. So I'll probably do that after I've eaten breakfast. Eat breakfast, therapy session, homework, um, work, therapy session, mum and dad. It's going to be great. Um, and I will try and put some footage in tomorrow of where we go today because it's a beautiful place and um, yeah it's about time I actually showed you some stuff outside of the house really but um, yeah it's just unfortunately being extremely busy at work that I've not been able to get out of the house too much so yeah it's a bit of a shame this year but um, I was talking to my partner about it and I said I felt quite sad that I wasn't able to get out and give you more footage of what's happening in and around me but um my life at the minute has just been work so uh yeah that's kind of unfortunately it i have increased my hours i have i am i have taken on a lot more responsibility and yes lots of training lots of trying to get everybody up to speed with what needs to happen in december and yeah it's a very very busy december all round for all of us at my office at the moment so kind of all hands on deck really and um, not much time for anything else sadly but once we're through December hopefully things will calm down and we will be in a much better place but unfortunately vlogmas will be finished so I might do some other type of vloggy things next year in fact I do have some plans for next year um, for content which I'm quite excited about because I'd like to do some more interactive things with yourselves because yeah I'm just really grateful to have you all here with me um, and watching and engaging with me it's been absolutely fantastic and 
I'm, I'm just blown away by how many of you are here um, and how many of you do interact with me. It's really, really lovely. So yeah, I think it, I, I would like a bit more of that and it'd be nice to actually tailor my content a little bit more and get involved with yourselves a bit more. Yeah, I've got, I've got ideas. I just need to sit down, get some time, sit down and think it through and then I'll be able to let you know what my, what my thoughts and plans are. But yes, anywho, I'm going to stop waffling because uh, there's a lot to do today and I am about to sneeze. <laughs> it's not coughing or dribbly nose, it's sneezing, isn't it? Right, I'm going to leave that there. And thank you so, so much for watching as always. It really does mean the absolute world to me. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.